Our next presenter is Richie Savanliankam from the Fresno State Office of Community and Economic Development under the Small Business University Division and a, uh, and a great colleague of mine. Uh, he uh, helps clients to start businesses, re uh, businesses uh, to retain a business or grow a business. The Small Business University Division also assists various businesses with the creation of their business plan and has uh, and he also has assisted businesses by applying for grants and loans that allows them to pay or open and keep their employees richie has his degree in business in administration with a focus in management he is also a proud fresno state bulldog alumni so go bulldogs right Let's give a warm welcome to Richie, uh, who's here in person. Thank you. Alrighty. Thank you, Gloria, for the introduction. Good morning, everybody. It's a pleasure to be here with you all today. My name is Richie Savalankam, and I'm one of the project assistants here at Fresno State Small Business University under the um, Fresno State Economic um, Community of Economic development division. We hope you are all enjoying this presentation and hope that you're learning a thing or two about business so far. So a little bit about what Fresno State Small Business University does for um, the community. We offer a variety of services such as grants, um, financial management, business planning, marketing, and so forth, as you'll see on the screen in just a moment. We work with just about new and existing businesses, um, helping owners looking to expand their businesses and provide them with resources they need to help them jumpstart their ventures. And some scenarios, if you're a new business owner, um, you're um, looking to open up a bakery somewhere in, let's say, areas like Sunnyside, Tower District, downtown Fresno, but depending on where you want to open, you're not so familiar with where um, the town's rules and regulations. We can help you um, find the exact permits needed and how to obtain them. Or if you own an existing business, let's say you own a barbershop in downtown Fresno, I guess, and you're looking to add a clothing business to your space. Um, and with that, we can also help you research your requirements as well. And that's actually a thing, by the way, it's having two businesses in one building. So the most common one that some of you guys might have seen, I've seen this for the most part, is um, a barbershop investors here. <clears throat> in retrospect, whatever questions you have out there about starting a business or about um, needing any information, we can help research that information and provide you with some answers to help ease your mind with lots of things. So a little bit about our um, mission. Um, Fresno State Small Business University assists new and existing businesses to be competitive in a complex marketplace and helps new entrepreneurs realize their dreams of business ownership. We assist you with starting, retaining, and expanding your business. So starting, um, building your business from the ground up, um, retaining, helping get loans, grants, et cetera, stay open, for example, during this um, pandemic that we're having. Um, in terms of expansion, it could be factors such as leasing a new building, hiring additional employees, and so forth. So what this means is that we help people in whatever area of business that they need. Um, for example, with their bakery business, if you're starting a bakery but want to know those rules and regulations in the area that you're opening, we can still help provide those. Um, or if you're a business that's needing help on managing suit or needing help on wanting to manage your finances, we can also help with that also. And speaking of finances, that also leads us to our first topic, which is financial management. So with financial management, we provide resources in cash flow management, which allows um, business owners to track money that's coming in and going out. Um, funding options, which includes loans, grants, and donations that are available to businesses. Um, among the grants and programs that we've assisted is the Restaurant Revitalization Fund, um, which is given by the Small Business Administration. And this is to help restaurants apply for funding during COVID if they're losing any um, revenue or not making a lot of sales. Another example is the Coronavirus Food Assistance Program, which is given by the USDA. And this helps farmers, ranchers, and producers whose operations were affected by COVID and other 
natural disasters and wildfires, for instance. Um, additionally, we also assist with bookkeeping and accounting. So we deal with topics such as income statements, balance sheets, payroll, and profit and loss statements. We also have loan application assistance. So we also help um, anyone who's interested in applying for loans and programs. We help guide a lot of our clients through step-by-step -step process for applying for funds, such as requirements that each loan has. And with our restaurant revitalization fund and coronavirus food assistance program, for instance, we also help read the rules and regulations and help clients understand the gist, like this is what each um, if it means. And if they choose to um, apply for the loans and grants, then we can also proceed. Um, otherwise, if not, that's totally fine. And last but not least is financial analysis introductions, um, which include budgeting, five year plans, and money management. So we have business planning and management. So similar services are offered within business planning and management, include um, business plan development. So business plans can be used to help apply for funding. We also help with um, business startup assistance um, for people who want to get into business, um, research requirements that are needed to get started and create a plan that they can follow to open their business. Expansion growth, if you're looking to um, grow your business by either hiring new employees, opening a new location, second location, or looking for ways to sell your products and service, we can help with that. As well as licensing and permits, um, different businesses have different license requirements, so we can also assist you with what types of license work you need for your business. And marketing, we offer various services such as um, creating a logo and promoting your products and services. So with that, we recently got a couple of clients who wanted to do infomercials with us, which is pretty interesting. So as a way to promote their products and services with the public. Um, some of the topics that we also assist business owners with marketing include identifying marketing niches, advertising and promotional strategies, branding and um, logo design, marketing plan development, web design, pricing products and services, social media, um, social media posts, and um, creating product videos. And the last service that we have is energy efficient business. Now, this is something that our department has worked closely with the Lyles College of Engineering on campus to promote our energy show this past spring. And there we help feature topics such as how to become an energy efficient business, um, energy efficient trends and new technologies, so informing those who are not familiar with eco-friendly or sustainable, sustainable product, um, products out there, what their purpose is. Um, funding opportunities for energy efficient upgrades, solar panel, um, solar power, energy, electric vehicles, to name a few examples. And additionally, if you're um, looking to start a business within the energy efficient, efficient business sector, you can also help you apply for low interest rates. Um, energy loans that are available to help pay for solar panels and other needs for your business. So whatever, whatever the case may be, we can help you get started. Um, the most common question that, that we do get asked, asked a lot is, do I have to be a current Fresno State student, alumni, staff member, or faculty member to use any of your services? No, you don't have to be any of those. In fact, we welcome pretty much just about everyone. So, and we welcome you to contact us by phone or email, and we'll be happy to help you get started. All right, so for those of you who have attended our webinars, or if this is your first time attending, you might have seen or heard our host mention a thing or two about signing up for our services. So this here is a screenshot of our website on how you can sign up for our services. And to do that, you can access our website at www.fresnostate.edu forward slash academics forward slash OSED. Or if you're using um, a search engine like Bing or Google, you can type in Fresno State Small Business University. Um, you can also find a link to our services on our link tree tab somewhere in a, that's floating around in our messages, I believe. Um, essentially, this will re redirect you to our Eastern Ser Services website, where you will be asked to enter your name, email, phone number, and create your own password. And from there, there will be a box where you can fill in the types of services 
you are looking for as well as provide additional comments. So keep in mind there is no work limit in terms of um, what it is that you're looking for in terms of business and you can fill out your inquiries in paragraph form or bullet point form. And what our e-services um, portal does is that it saves all client interactions for you and our staff to keep track of our records. So for example, say if you've um, met with us to discuss working on a business plan, um, your meeting notes are saved in that session and it will allow um, both of us, well, our staff to retrieve what, whatever information is needed so that way if we need to refer back to something we can have on file. And once you have completed filling out everything, you can go ahead and click submit. The next step will be the point of contact. And so our staff will be contacting you by phone or email within the next one to three business days based on the order on um, the inquiries presented. You can also visit our office and set for our services in person and feel free to contact us or shoot us an email. We'll be happy to help get you started. And there, will, there is also a video on our link tree as well somewhere that's posted on our YouTube channel, which also has a step-by-step um, -step process of how to get started. Next slide, please. So these are some of the services that are offered to assist businesses out there. And we do have two, and for anybody who has a business within the farming or um, any other business, this might pique interest for you. So the first one that we have on the screen here is the Coronavirus Food Assistance Program. So this is a grant that's issued by the USDA to, to assist ranchers, producers, and farmers whose operations that were affected due to COVID-19 and those who can make profit or sales during the loss to reduce their production rates. Um, if you own the following commodities, which include aquaculture, which is such as fish, um, broilers, eggs, and pullets, dairy, livestock, horticulture, and nursery crops, specialty crops, and a few examples. Um, the last day to sign up for the coronavirus food assistance program is October 12th. So once again, October 12th is the deadline. Um, to apply, you can visit the link that you see on the screen here, or you can visit your local USDA office. I'll go ahead and leave the screen on for a few seconds in case anybody wants to take a picture. So the next program is the Economic Injury Disaster Loan, known as the EIDL loan. So this is a loan that's issued by the Small Business Administration, which helps provide low interest disaster loans to help businesses and homeowners recover from declared disasters. Um, if you are a small business, nonprofit organization of any size, or a U.S. agricultural business with 500 or fewer employees that suffered um, from substantial economic injury as a um, result of the COVID-19 pandemic, you can apply for the COVID-19 EIDL. And this loan applies to all businesses based in any U.S. state, um, territory, or the District of Columbia. Some factors include civil unrest and natural disasters such as hurricanes and floodings, wildfires, and so forth. The last date to apply for the EIDL loans is on New Year's Eve till December 31st, 2021. So again, New Year's Eve is the deadline. Um, to apply for the EIDL, you can visit the website that you, can see, that you see on the screen here or visit your local SBA office as well. So go ahead and leave this on for another uh, couple of seconds as well. All right, so past events and webinars. So these are some of the past webinars and events that are has held since the start of the pandemic. So some of the topics that we've done include QuickBooks. So we did like a three-part series which helps new and existing business owners. For those who are new to QuickBooks that want to keep up with um, learning how to manage their finances or perhaps on a new scale. Um, the next is how to open up a catering business which we featured local um, catering business, Kim Kim Food, which they serve um, authentic Laotian cuisine and shared the essence of Laotian cuisine with the community and public. So the owners of Kien Kien provided insight on those entering the restaurant and food scene on how to start their own food business and also did a little cooking demonstration for us. We also held the Fresno State Energy Show as mentioned earlier. So we partnered with the Laos College of Engineering to 
department this past spring to introduce energy efficient products and in inventions, which promote sustainability. And there will be an air show plan for, for you guys in the spring, so you, you might want to stick around and check out our social media channels and sign up for our newsletters. All the details. Um, the date has yet to be decided, but it's most likely going to be held sometime a couple weeks before spring break. Um, the Pie Shop Typical Dream and Entrepreneur Series is a workshop held by the Pie Shop in downtown Fresno. And there, the owners discuss how entrepreneurs can start their own businesses and provide tips and insights featuring um, personals from different industries, sharing their expertise. And there are so many other um, webinars that we've done in the past. Yes. And by the way, if anyone here has any topics on future webinars or future suggestions or wants to do a webinar with us, you're more than welcome to give us a call anytime and we will be happy to help coordinate something. All right. So for our business owners out there who are interested in applying for any of the programs that were mentioned earlier, or if you have any further questions, please don't be shy folks. And please feel free to contact us by phone or email in the see below. And our office will be happy to help, help you in the answer. And last but not least, we are on social media. So if you'd like to stay in touch with our services and updates, feel free to follow us at any time um, on any of our social media platforms. You can also click on our social media icons in our link tree for more information. I believe there um, is a link tree that's going in our chat box somewhere, so you might want to take a look at that. Alrighty. And that concludes the presentation. And thank you everyone for tuning in and I hope you have Good day and enjoy the rest of your Thursday. Thank you so much. All right, thank you, Richie. That was great.